Alright guys, hey, what's up? Um, I got big news for you. Um, this just came out. It's, uh, it's a PS, it's called PSP Crypto version 2. What this does is, um, for all you people running on, uh, like, say you want to update your firmware, right? On your PSP. Um, so let me go to my downloads here and I'm going to scroll on down. Uh, where the hell is it? Right here. This uh, PS Cryptor version 2.0 signed. Um, this is the file I'm going to have you download. I'm going to have the link next to the video. What this does is with your PSP running on custom firmware, it's a homebrew application. And what we're going to do is I'm simply going to show you how to install this. So let me go and grab my PSP real quick. And that's nice. Windows, thanks for reminding me. Um, <clears throat> all right, so basically, um, turn your PSP on and uh, put it into USB mode and plug it into your computer like you would normally do. I hope all of you that have a PSP know how to do that. If you don't, get a USB cable, 2.0 cable, plug it into the PSP. Plug it into your computer. It's not that hard. Um, what we're going to do is go here and the, open up the folder to view the files. And what we're going to do is go to the PSP and the game folder in that PSP folder. Now you can see my homebrew applications here and uh, my emulators, things like that. Um, don't need this anymore. So I can just delete that. Um, so uh, basically what we're going to do is uh, open this up with an extraction program. If you don't have an extraction program, right click on it and say extract files and extract them to your desktop. No, no need to be fancy. And you're going to see this folder inside the extracted files called PSP Crypto version 2.0 signed. And if you open that up, you're going to see a sign and you're going to see an eboot and readme text. Readme text is basically directions on what to do. And uh, basically what we're looking at is the sign folder. So first things first, go back to you see the PSP Crypto version 2.0 signed. And what we're going to simply do here now is uh, if I can get to my PSP folder, uh, you're going to take that folder and drag and drop that into the PSP game folder. Uh, let that extract and copy over like so. Shouldn't take very long. And now you have this folder in here. Now, basically, what you're going to do is take this and uh, double click on it and open it up. And you're going to see the sign folder, the eboo.pvp, and the readme text. Now, open up that sign folder. What you're going to look at is this readme text. It's just going to say, place your eboo pvp file here. And it's going to be an empty text document. This is just basically saying you put your eboo, home, your homebrew eboo files here. So, for an example, like, this is for official firmware. Um, like, you need to be on custom firmware in order to use this application, but you can make Homebrew be signed with a digital signature and have it run on official firmware. Now, this is what I mean. For an example, if you want to run Hellcat's Recovery Flasher on official firmware, Double click on that, and you're going to see an eboot.pvp. What you're going to do is right click on that and copy that. And we're going to go over here to the PSP Crypto folder, open that up, and open up the sign folder. And you're going to right click on that and paste that inside that folder. Now you're going to see that there. Now let me just double check and make sure I didn't cut it out of there. All right. So. Now that you have the Hellcats Recovery Flasher eboot.pvp in there, this is what you're going to do. You're going to exit this. And uh, you're going to exit USB mode out of your PSP. And you're going to scroll over to your game category and the memory stick. And open that up. And you should see the PSP Cryptor. Start that up. Here it's starting up just nice and dandy like so. Um... <clears throat> so you're going to let that run through 
and you're going to see PSP Crypto version 2 by Carlos. Encrypt eBoot files directly from the PSP uses the code made by BBTGP, which is a setup, and uh, it's going to say, uh, and parts of the PSP SDK version 2 added relocation, fixing the JJS. Thank you. Unpacking eBoot file. Paraframe SFO, blah, 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 blah. Icon. This will do everything automatically. Now, it's going to dump all this stuff in the AT3 files and things like that, which basically not many people are going to know what they are, but they're basically setup files. It's going to be like a command prompt screen kind of thing like that, and uh, you're going to see fixing PRX relocations. And um, then it's going to say encrypting PRX file, loading PRX file, processing keys, encrypting uh, PRX file, da 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 da. Then it's going to say packing new eboot file, loading files, writer header, data, blah 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 blah, writing data. Haram SFO, 408 icon, things like that, all that pretty stuff. And you're just going to wait until this runs, and it's going to shut down by itself. Now what this is doing is it's digitally signing the homebrew application eboot file to run on official firmware. And uh, basically after that, you're going to be able to run this on uh, official firmware's 6.35 and lower. This is what it's for. Stop telling me that it's slow. I'm going to kick you in the fucking teeth. Anyways. So, uh, letting this run. Do, 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 do. I wish I could show you this on camera, but my Camtasia studio is gay, and I'm currently downloading the upgrade. So, uh, as you can see there, Camtasia studio version 7.1.0.1631 with the keygen. Awesome. Anyways, alright, finish. Hope it works. Returning to the XMB. It's going to return to your XMB automatically. Now, <sighs> once that's done, put your PSP back into USB mode. Now your autoplay is going to come up, like so, right here. And you're going to say open to view the files again. Go to the PSP folder. Where the fuck is it? There it is. And then go to the game folder and go to the PSP Cryptor. Now, the eBoots, you can only do them one at a time. And, uh, <clears throat> this is what we're looking at here. So, this right here is uh, all the data of the eBoot unpacked. Now, if, uh, for an example, we could open this up. And you're going to see that that's the icon and shit for the Hellcats recovery flasher. And the also pick one, that's the data screen that when it boots up, yada, yada, yada. Here's all the files that were inside the eBoot. Now, this is the eBoot signed. <clears throat> what you're going to do with this eBoot now is you're going to right click on it, copy it, and you're going to go back to your Hellcats recovery flasher or whatever eboot you have used and you're gonna right click on it and paste it in there All right. now once you paste that there you're gonna recognize that it's fairly larger that's because it's unpacked the files there's nothing wrong with this file it's just bigger than it's supposed to that it normally was and then what you're gonna do is simply delete this eboot file here but I would recommend backing it up just in case it doesn't work so you have the file on hand or if you lose the file somehow you can always get it back from my channel because I have download links to everything so I'm not gonna do that because I'm running on custom firmware and then after that once you only have the digitally signed eboot in there um, unplug your PSP from USB mode and you can pop your memory stick in a PSP running on official firmware and use the Hellcats recovery flasher on official firmware to install custom firmware. So that's pretty cool. Also, you can use it on homebrew applications, like for an example, um, Alexi Alligator. You can use that eboot and play that on uh, your PSP with official firmware. So basically, you can do it with any eboot. And when you're done unpacking, delete all these files right here and call it a day. And then, when you want to do it to another eBoot, just put another eBoot file in here, have it unpack, do its thing, 
and you're pretty much good to go. So, uh, yeah, I will have a description on this on the side of the video, and uh, I will have a download link. And if you have any questions about this, send me a message, and I will happily answer. And, uh, yeah, so just made a new breakthrough. I would love to, I'm going to count how many times that message came up, I swear to God. Somebody do it for me and comment on it and make sure you put, like, LOL in there or something so I know it's funny. All right, guys. Well, enjoy your new uh, digital signing uh, software for um, your homebrew application eBoot files so you can get them to run on official firmware on the PSP. So talk to you guys later. Enjoy this and use it well.